Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today's lecture number one topic is circular measure, and uh, we have two formulas for a one uh, for area of sector and for the arc length. So we represent a for the area of sector, and formula is a is equal to mm, uh, half r square theta, and for the arc length we represent by s. And formula is arc length s is equal to r theta and important thing theta must be in radians theta must be in radians and there is one particular link between degrees and and uh, radians a link is when you move from 0 to 2 pi so it is called 360 degree so in degrees in degrees and radians so in degree when you rotate from here till here it's called 2 pi radians and equal to 360 degree but when I divide by 2 I get 180 degree is equal to pi radians or again divided by 2 it give me 90 degree and pi divided by 2 if I divide by 3 both sides I got 30 degree I will get 30 degree and I will get pi by 6 it means we have these links available and we can use these links to convert degree to radians first question why we need because uh, in full chapter of circular measure we will we will not do use degree we will use radian in our calculations and that is the reason we use these two formulas for area of sector and for length so if we given some angle in degrees we will convert into radians and then you will use in the questions okay this is one thing after this um, I want to explain you uh, some special shapes and second number uh, for example, uh, if you uh, if you have a uh, if you have a any degree angle, for example, uh, we have given uh, area like theta is equal to 45 degree or 45 whatever, and I want to find out the area. A radius is given by him, let's say two centimeter. So how to find the area and how to find out the arc length? So first of all, we will convert. So how to convert? So simple solution. Uh, I will write uh, here D for degree, R for radians, and I know one link that 180 degree is equal to pi radians. I will keep here 45 and here x, and it will give me x is equal to 45 pi over 180, which becomes pi by 4. So now I can find area. Area is a half R square theta. I replace r2 here and theta pi by 4 so in this way this is cancelled so my answer is pi by 2 centimeter uh, square because it give us area so similarly you can find the arc length so s is equal to r theta and r is 2 r is 2 and theta is pi by 4 so it means it will give us pi by 2 centimeter so this is a way to find out uh, arc length so let's move uh, some to some examples we have these two examples and in this option if I need to find out this area so what is the plan of action this is a rectangle given and this is sector and we have given uh, here let's say given here this is a 5 centimeter and this is a 90 degree okay if I need to find this one so what is the plan of action so from a big rectangle area subtract triangle and subtract sector so try a rectangle area minus triangle area and minus sector area will give us answer and you know this length into width and triangle area is a half into base into height and sector area half r square theta so this, is our, this will give us the area. So this is our plan. 
in this kind of question what will do sometime students uh, they try to join a and c no you will not join a and c you will join o with b and we have given suppose this angle is given pi by 6 full so this becomes pi by 3 and now this is a 90 degree this is 90 degree so indirectly we get two right angle triangles and how to find out the area of the blackish portion the black the shaded portion so this is called kite or I can say here the triangle area multiply by 2 uh, this triangle area multiply by 2 I get the full kite area and subtract the, uh, the area of the sector the area of the sector so in this way I can get the shaded portion and uh, in case if I need a parameter so AB and CB BC both are same so if I find one length by Pythagoras theorem I can get the other one and then I will add the arc length and that is my answer okay uh, we have an example October 212 variant 13 question number 4 and we have given a right angle triangle and there's a sector you can see ADC sector this is given too so this uh, how to get the air shaded area in terms of pi and root 3 so first of all what is the plan of action the plan of action is so simple that if I get a triangle area minus the sector for area I will get my answer so this is a plan of action so first of all do I have this radius yes we have angle no it means we need angle and what about this we need area so we have this 2 root 3 and we have this it means area triangle is not a big deal major issue is a uh, how to find the angle and you know that this is a right angle triangle and if I need this angle to find it's not a hard job uh, so if I use uh, in the front of this angle opposite is adjacent and all of you know so opposite by adjacent is the tan theta so tan theta opposite by adjacent and theta gives us tan inverse of root 3 which gives us uh, it gives us 60 degrees equal to pi by 3 so this is a radiance now I've got angle and now according to plan so how to get a shaded area so shaded area plan is so simple so area of triangle half into base into height minus half r square theta and base into height base 2 and height is 2 to 3 you can say or you can change even no issue and radius is given here 2 and theta is given here pi by 3 but you know as uh, given the question we need answer in terms of this one so it means we will not we will not uh, like uh, this becomes 2 pi by 3 we should not uh, use pi in calculation if I use pi in calculation give us in decimal answer but that is not our required because the required answer is pi and root 3 so this is my answer I can write here unit square so in this way we can get our answer so if he ask us find out the uh, parameter of shaded portion so this length plus this length and plus this length so we know this length is given by him and this we can find by s is equal to r theta and this length if I use this and this and use Pythagoras theorem to get a b and from a b subtract this 2 because it's also 2 this from here till here is also 2 so from total length subtract 2 you get this length then bd plus this and plus this will give us the uh, uh, arc length so parameter of the shared portion this is enough for today assalamu alaikum